Hello, Indiana Gear Up family. Today, I'd like to welcome you to Intro to College and Career Part 1. First about me, my name is Coach Crawford or Mrs. Crawford, and I'm the building coordinator and college and career coordinator at Purdue Polytechnic High School. Gear Up stands for Gaining Early Awareness and Readiness to un for Undergraduate Programs and is designed to increase the number of K-12 through students who are exceptionally prepared to enter and succeed in post-secondary education. Today we will discuss steps you can take today to prepare for your future in post-secondary education. So, you're thinking about college, right? Some things that could be going through your head right now is what school do I want to go to? A big popular question is how will I pay for it? What do I need to do now? Why go to college? These are all questions that I get quite often when working with students and all are very good questions that I hope to help you out with starting today. So where do I start? Um, I would say start early um, and have these conversations often. It's never too early to start planning and learning um, as much as you can about college. Um, you can talk to your coaches, your teachers, your guidance counselors, your career advisors, um, your principals and different your administrators in your building um, to ask them questions about um, their journey to where how they got to where they are today. Um, start having conversations with family members um, about college um, and just express your desire to learn as much about college because may, um, you want to go to college. Um, I would say um, um, accessing um, different career um, exploration tools that will help you explore your career interests and your goals, um, and which we'll get into that in, in a later um, slide. Um, but these are things that you can talk to um, all of your coaches and your teachers and um, family members about because there are a ton of resources available to students um, to help them explore different careers that they may be interested in and to help them do a lot of research um, because doing a lot of research research now um, will be so beneficial um, for you um, as you're navigating through your high school career. Um, another huge important um, thing um, will be is to make sure that you're maintaining a solid GPA. So doing as well as you possibly can in all of your classes um, really will um, help you position yourself um, for the future. Um, and just making sure that you're giving it your all in your classes. Freshman and sophomore year are so important. I can't emphasize and stress that enough. Um, I tell students that all the time. It lays the foundation um, for your high school um, years. And so it's super important to come in freshman and sophomore year and put the pedal to the metal and really do as well as you possibly can. Um, and you have a lot of people um, in your buildings to support you. Um, you have your Indiana Gear Up family and um, your family here to help support you to make sure that you can be the best um, that you can be. Super important to make sure that you're signed up and you're taking um, the PSAT and the SAT and ACT. Um, PSAT um, will be um, the test that you will be taking um, your first two years um, and even into the first semester of your junior years um, at most schools. Um, it's super important that you're in school on those days. PSATs are um, tests that don't have makeups. And once the school administers those tests, um, you can't go back and um, get a makeup date for it. So I stress and urge students to make sure that they find out when those PSAT dates are in their high schools so that they can make sure that they are at um, school when those tests are being um, given. Um, I also stress to make sure that you take all tests very seriously and know that you can use these scores to get scholarship money to help you pay for college. Um, so you want to make sure that um, you are um, approaching these tests um, with the mindset of, I really want to do well. I really want to show um, different colleges um, what 
what kind of student they could be getting. Um, and I stress this a lot. Make sure that you do a lot of prep, prep, prep. You guys, you do that by uh, making sure that you're studying, making sure that you're doing a lot of reading. Um, one great resource to prepare um, for um, PSAT, SAT, and ACT, um, Khan Academy, um, which is a free resource online that you can go in and sign up for some free um, SAT prep. Um, I highly suggest you look into that. Um, after you take the PSAT, um, you can get with your guidance counselor on how you can link your PSAT scores um, to your Khan Academy. And what it will do is it will make a customized study plan for you um, based on what your strengths and your weaknesses were um, on your PSAT. It's a great way um, to prepare for the SAT um, and it's free of charge. You want to make sure you're doing a lot of research around what the different college colleges um, have for admissions requirements because they can they will vary. Um, one school may have a certain set of um, admission requirements that um, students have to have, and another one may have something that's completely different. And so you want to make sure that if you're interested in a um, Purdue University, yay, boiler up, you want to make sure that you know what those admission requirements are um, so that um, you can start making your setting your goals accordingly um, to make sure that um, you're taking the right courses and that um, you are prepared um, when it's time to apply. Um, you also um, should do research and start educating. It's not too early to educate yourself about what FAFSA is, which is the free application for federal student aid. I've linked it here. Um, you won't have to um, worry about it like maybe right now because you're a freshman or a sophomore, um, but this is going to be super valuable um, because this um, for students that are eligible, um, this is free. Um, aid, free financial aid um, for students to help pay for their college education um, for those that are eligible. So I've um, linked that link there if you want to start looking into what FAFSA is and um, how you can leverage, um, please click on that link. Uh, so back to talking to your counselor, super important. Um, something that I can't stress enough um, and something that I wish that um, I would have um, taken advantage of when I was in high school. Um, but make sure that you're having conversations and talking to your academic or career counselor. You're building a relationship um, so that you can share with um, your counselor what your interests and your passions are. Um, or if you need help, exploring what those um, interests and passions are. Your guidance counselor is there to help assist with those sort of things because, again, there's so many tools out there available to students to help with that. Um, another huge thing that I'm always telling students is to make sure that you are getting involved with clubs, teams, and other extracurricular activities. This is huge, guys, um, because Universities and admission counselors want to um, have a student that is well-rounded. And what that means is um, you can be a student that maybe you're super smart and you have a 3.6, 3.7 GPA. And maybe academics is the only thing that you have concerned yourself with throughout high school, four years of high school. That's great. However, um, to be competitive with other students that will be applying to those universities, you want to make sure you are doing some things to separate yourself and that um, you are building a complete person, not just somebody that is academically sound, but somebody that have uh, participated in clubs and teams and other activities, or you've um, been a pillar in your community. You've done things um, because that's going to show that um, you know how to collaborate, you know how to innovate, and you know how to communicate. And you um, are building some skills. You you are building um, a skill set for yourself that will separate you against others um, from other students. Um, and so that's something that a lot of colleges, most colleges, will look at because if they have two students that 
they're looking at considering and maybe both have a 3.7 GPA. Both of them have the same SAT score. It could be that student that has really done a lot of um, um, have have had a lot of involvement with clubs and teams um, that could be the determining factor that separates that student from the other student. Um, in return, that student will get admission, have a greater chance of getting admission into that college. So it's super important that you are doing extra things um, within your school or within your community. Last thing I said, um, start building letters of recommendation. And you want to do that because um, a lot of times camps and a lot of these extracurricular activities that you may want to get into, um, those can be super competitive. Even scholarships, things like that um, will say to be eligible to participate and to, or to be eligible to be considered, you need to have two letters of recommendation um, to turn in with your application. And so it's important that you have built the relationships with the teachers in your building, the administrators in your building, and your guidance counselor, so that when that time comes where you are needing a letter of recommendation, you will have um, people that you can turn to to write you a letter of recommendation to speak about who you are um, as a um, as a student. Um, you can also get letters of recommendations from um, your church. Um, maybe you're, um, you've worked a job during high school and so your um, supervisor can speak to your work ethic and the kind of person you are. Um, there's multiple um, ways of getting letters of recommendations and sorry guys, you can't get one from your parents or your friends. Um, make, making sure again, you're maintaining a solid um, grade point average um, and understanding what diploma track you're on. There are many different graduation pathways and diploma tracks in Indiana, and you need to know which track you're currently on. Um, to name a few, there's Core 40, there's academic honors, there's technical honors. Um, and so you need to talk to your counselor about um, these and get familiar with them and position yourself um, to, uh, to, to position yourself to get into the schools that you may be interested in. Um, the diploma tracks. Um, is very important to become familiar with because there's so many different ones in the state of Indiana. Um, and so I highly encourage you to have conversations um, about what diploma track you're on and make sure you completely understand what that means for you. Maintain a solid GPA. We have um, have been talking about that. Um, great replacements. Um, great replacements come into play when a student has earned maybe a grade that um, has brought their GPA down. So maybe, you know, in English 9, you got a C or maybe you got a D and you just didn't do well. Um, we all have um, those moments where we just don't do as well um, as we would have hoped. Um, lucky for you guys, um, great replacements do exist. The thing about them is if you got a C or D in that English 9, you would have to go and repeat that entire class and get a grade higher than the one that you originally earned so that that C or D can be dropped off your transcript. So if you took English 9, you got a C or D. Um, you could talk to your guidance counselor about con being considered for a great replacement. Um, if you got a B or an A um, after you took the course the second time, then the C or the D would um, come off of your transcript, which will in return raise your, your grade point average. Um, but try to avoid that at all costs because your workload would only get more and more rigorous. And um, you just want to make sure that if you can knock out a class the first time and get a grade that's high, that's going to help you out. You want to um, talk to your guidance counselor also a lot about um, the different courses that are offered at your high school and the courses that you are taking um, because um, colleges will be looking for students that are taking um, rigorous courses and different colleges will have different set of requir requirements um, for you to gain admission into their universities. Um, so you want to make sure that you're asking questions about um, the different courses that your school offers. Um, there's um, dual credits, which we'll talk a lot about in this series. Um, 
we there is also um, advanced placement, which um, are AP courses, and different universities will look for students to have those on their transcript. And it certainly um, helps you position yourself to gain admissions um, because colleges look at that as, um, wow, this student has taken dual credits, this student has taken um, advanced placement courses, this student is somebody that is um, on track to be ready for um, um, to have success in college. So make sure you're having those conversations and asking about that as well. Um, and yes, we know PSAT, SAT, and ACT um, scores matter so much. Um, um, because they can help position you to um, get so many things um, um, to include scholarships and admissions into different universities. Okay, what are career assessments? Um, big popular um, website that um, a lot of college and career counselors utilize um, in the state of Indiana is the Indiana Career Explorer. Um, this is key because it helps you explore your interests, your skills, and your values. So maybe you don't, you're not for sure that you want to be an engineer. Um, so you can utilize Indiana Career Explorer, which I've highlighted here. You can click on um, create an account. It's free of charge. Um, you can set up an account and it will help you go through some assessments and some different personality tests will that that will help link you to college majors and different career opportunities. And so I always tell students it's a great starting point for exploration. Um, Indiana Career Explorer will help you explore a world of um, career possibilities and make decisions about your future and prepare for the next step in your education and career um, planning journey. Um, like I said, it's free to create an account. Your parent can cre create an account um, for free as well. And you guys can work together to help you game plan for um, college and career. Um, and then you also will have access to um, create your graduation plan, which we will talk about on the very uh, on one of the upcoming slides, which will be a huge part of you navigating your um, high school career. Um, please do your college research. Um, I've included some websites here, College Board, Learn More Indiana, the Princeton Review. Those are very insightful college websites that I refer to quite a bit with my students. Um, there's uh, tons more. Those are just um, a couple that I really um, look at quite often or have my students um, look at um, because it's going to be super important that um, you you can soak up as much information about um, college um, right now so that you can help it can help you inform and make your decisions about where you want to go to college or if you even want to go to college make sure you're researching um, those college websites College Board is a huge one. You will find a bunch of information about SAT um, there. Um, Naviance is a tool that helps link um, students, um, high school students from high school students to um, different career exploration tools um, and colleges. Do a lot of research with, um, on these college um, websites because it will be very helpful for you. Um, one big thing I really want to talk about is the college tours. Um, guys, those are so much fun, by the way. Um, I know due to the pandemic that we're all um, battling together um, and that we'll get through together. Um, right now, all colleges um, are doing virtual college tours. So if there's a few colleges that you have in mind right now would be a great opportunity for you to look those colleges up, go to their websites, and you will be able to take a virtual college tour, which will um, navigate you through that college campus and the different departments and the different um, colleges that are on the campus. Um, of those universities. Um, and so it's an excellent opportunity for you to um, gain some information without having to physically drive um, to the campus. Um, however, the best experience, in my personal opinion, is getting the in-person direct um, 
um, direct in person college tour um, experience um, because you'll be able to interact with um, the different college um, and university staff members. Um, you'll get to actually see if you can see yourself on the campus by walking on the campus, going to have lunch in the um, cafeterias. That's going to, in my opinion, provide you the best um, opportunity to really see if this is um, if it's a university that you would be interested in going to. So I highly um, suggest you to um, have conversations with your guidance counselors um, at your schools about um, when college tours are offered because um, most high schools do offer college tours. The Scholar Success Program includes activities that will help you stay on track for college and career success. Um, so th the graphic that you're looking at here um, for ninth graders, um, these are activities that all ninth graders should be um, working to complete. Um, you should be creating a graduation plan, participating again, participating in extracurricular or service activity, um, watch paying for college one-on-one, -on -one, which is going to um, give you so much insight as to um, how you pay for college and the different um, opportunities that you could um, partake in that could help you pay for it. Um, tenth graders, you should be taking career um, interest assessments, which ninth graders, you can take it as well. Um, get workplace experience. Um, I want to talk about that one because you've taken a career assessment. The career assessment says maybe you would be a great um, engineer and maybe it's something that you think you're interested in. Um, I know one thing that we do um, and we put a lot of emphasis on here at Purdue Polytechnic High School is for our students to gain workplace experience. And you can do that several ways. Um, you talk to your parents about whether they know um, um, or if they have any friends or family members that work in that career pathway that they can match you up with or pair you with and have you do a job shadowing for an hour or two, or maybe you do a virtual um, hangout with someone that um, works in that career pathway. And that will be a great way for you to gain insight as to what it is um, like to be an engineer and talk to that person about how they got to where they are and um, what did they make major in, what college did they go to, um, it's going to be a valuable experience for you, not to mention it will help position you to get an internship possibly um, because you're starting to network and um, be proactive about seeking out um, opportunities to learn more about a career pathway. And so um, we'll talk about internships um, in another series and another one of the series, but um, gaining that workplace experience is going to be huge um, for you guys. Um, and then also making sure that um, you are looking at Learn More Indiana. They have a great resource out there that will help you estimate the cost of college. There's a ton of them out there, but I know that Learn More Indiana has a great one out there that will help you start thinking about estimating the cost of college so that you can start thinking about how you're going to pay for it. Um, so this is a very helpful tool that will help all students stay on track. Um, as it gives you great specific activities you see here that you guys should be um, completing. And I know all of us built and coordinators um, and our regional directors are working so hard to help you get signed up to complete these tasks. So if you haven't done so, please contact your Indiana Gear Up built and coordinator um, at your schools to help you get started so that we can um, set you up for success and uh, make sure that you are completing your um, scholar success program activities. Um, this concludes part one series of College and Career with Coach Crawford. Um, it was a pleasure speaking with you all today, and I hope that you were able to learn something new um, about steps that you should be taking towards your future and your post-secondary plans. I hope you guys all chime in next week. Talk soon. Stay safe and wash your hands.